Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus. Hello and welcome to Climate Now. And this month we're here in Spain. Duascao, Catalonia is adapting to drought. As you can see, this reservoir around me is almost empty. So can they learn to live with very little rain? We will change because there's no other option for us. First though, let's check the very latest data from the Copernicus Climate Change Service. We've just had another exceptional month for our climate. On a global level, we had the warmest February on record, 0.8 degrees Celsius above the 1991 to 2020 average. We've now had nine months in a row of record-breaking warm temperatures for the time of year. In Europe, there were large warm anomalies in many countries. For example, temperatures in Romania were 6.8 degrees above average in February, Switzerland was 4.6 degrees above average for the month, and England was 2.9 degrees above the average for February. The surface temperature of the ocean outside polar regions also broke a new absolute record, averaging 21.06 degrees Celsius in February. On this globe, all the areas in red were at their absolute warmest on record, and in pink the sea surface was either warmer or much warmer than average last month. Now to our story, and as you can see, Catalonia is facing a dramatic water shortage. So how are they adapting? It hasn't rained enough here for almost four years, and now the Sao Reservoir is below 15% capacity. It's one of the most important dams supplying Greater Barcelona, and scientist Vicente Acuna says the region needs to learn quickly to do more with less. Adaptation, it's, uh, you have to reconsider the activities that you do. And those that you do not want to change for whatever reason, you need to be more efficient in the use of water. You need to be uh, use less water for the same purpose or reuse water locally so that you do not rely so much on natural water from rivers. Tourism is one such activity that needs to become more sustainable. The Hotel Samba in Lloret de Mar is often seen as an example of water efficiency because it's been reusing water from showers and wash basins in its toilet systems for 25 years. ¿Cuánto hemos recogido en el 2023 de agua reciclada han sido 10.493 metros cúbicos? Now the hotel is going further, experimenting by using recycled water to grow plants and food. Hay un, una serie de hortalizas de usos comestibles con el que se está experimentando si es viable poder también regar con agua gris. The Greater Barcelona region regenerates wastewater in this plant on a scale seldom seen in Europe. Because of the drought, it's at 100% capacity, supplying 25% of the population's needs. Next door, this desalination plant is also at full capacity. It runs on renewable energy and meets another 25% of demand. Catalonia is committed to expanding desalination further, despite the cost. El proceso para eliminar la sal del agua de mar siempre es costoso, requiere una cantidad de elevada de energía y eso incrementa, incrementa el coste de producción. Pero ya no es una cuestión de costes más altos o más bajos, sino de disponibilidad de agua para la población. Water efficiency is found in some unexpected places too. This meat processing company reuses 10% of the water it treats and cleans, but managers are frustrated that legislation prevents them from using more. Nos están pidiendo una reducción de consumos y nosotros estamos vertiendo un agua limpia al alcantarillado cuando este agua podría destinarse a otros destinos. There is growing pressure to accelerate adaptation as the effects of climate change mean intense droughts will become more frequent in many areas around the Mediterranean. We need the governments to really push society through tax incentives or different measures, new laws to really foster the transition into a water efficient society. Well, that's all we have time for, but you can read a lot more about how our planet is changing on euronews.com slash climate now. And I'll see you next time. Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus.